Why did this new photo of Sophie Turner and Taylor Swift break the internet? Why is Russell Brand getting banned from YouTube? And what is this huge BTS news that fans are talking about? All right, so what is going on with Sophie Turner and Taylor Swift? Because the two of them stepped out for a girls' night in New York City on Tuesday. They linked arms walking through the streets as they grabbed dinner at Via Carota. Sophie looked amazing in a plunging halter top with matching pants and sneakers. She accessorized with a gold lock necklace, a black purse, and a sweater tied around her waist. Both women wore their hair pulled back in ponytails and looked super stylish. Taylor rocked a knee-length denim jacket, a burnt orange dress, and brown boots. But it wasn't just the fashion that people were actually paying attention to. It was the fact that these two went out to dinner together and it seems to be a huge deal considering that Sophie is currently going through a divorce with Taylor's ex Joe Jonas. She dated him about 15 years ago in July of 2008 and it didn't last very long because they were over by October of that same year. Since their split she's allegedly written many songs about him. Eventually he came forward criticizing her for singing about their breakup, which was apparently a 27 second phone call. But they made up eventually and Taylor even apologized to him. After dating Taylor, Joe moved on with Camille Bell, Gigi Hadid, and eventually Sophie. While it might seem that the two of them would have some kind of rivalry because they both dated the same guy, they actually became pretty good friends over the years. In fact, Sophie has proven herself to be a hardcore Swifty on multiple occasions. So there's no bad blood there whatsoever. Since news of her divorce has been circulating, there's been more and more stories coming out about the breakdown of their marriage, and almost all of it seems to be manufactured by Joe's PR team. A few weeks ago, it was reported that he had caught her doing something shocking on the ring camera, and apparently that's the reason why he decided to file for divorce. It's been reported that whatever he saw or heard her doing was the last straw in their marriage, and at that point he realized it was over. Multiple inside sources who had direct contact with Joe have revealed that he has access to a ring security camera at their their home, which was their Miami mansion that they just sold for $15 million. In the filing, he also said that his two daughters with Sophie were living with him most of the time leading up to the split. Apparently, over the last three months, he's been caring for their young children pretty much all the time, even while his band was touring. On the surface, Joe and Sophie's relationship showed absolutely no signs of trouble, but it's now being said that they've had serious problems for at least six months. An inside source from his camp said, she likes to party, he likes to stay at home. They have very different lifestyles. Quote, the divorce was a last resort for Joe. He never wanted to break up his family, but he had to take what he felt was the best course of action for his girls. They went on to say that an unhappy home isn't a home, and the truth is that he and Sophie were going through it this year. Around the same time, photos and videos came out showing Sophie down in shots in the UK while Joe was away on tour and presumably looking after the kids. Now that seemed to be the main story that was going around, the idea that Sophie is a big drinker and essentially left their family for long periods of time without a care in the world for Joe or their daughters. But some people are now saying that Joe was actually doing everything in his power to try to destroy her reputation and paint her as a bad mother. Because there's a TikTok video that's been floating around from 2020 where he admitted that his wife was the homebody in the relationship. And for many years now, Sophie has talked about enjoying her downtime at home. During the pandemic, she did an interview with Conan O'Brien where she talked about how much she loves staying home. So that kind of contradicts the person that Joe was painting her out to be. And out of the two, of them, he's been the loudest when it comes to speaking about this divorce. He was also the first one to be spotted without his wedding ring on, as far back as August 11th when he was photographed picking up an iced coffee in New York City. On Instagram, both Sophie and Joe posted a joint statement talking about their split. It said, After four wonderful years of marriage, we have mutually decided to amicably end our marriage. There are many speculative narratives as to why, but truly, this is a united decision and we sincerely hope that everyone can respect our wishes for privacy for us and our children. As nasty as all this is getting, it's good to see that Sophie is really living her best life at the moment. She was recently photographed filming her upcoming show called Joan in Spain. She looked very happy on set this week and was spotted kissing her co-star Frankie Delane in a flirty scene. Yes, she's been very, very quiet on social media lately, but in this situation, that kind of proves that she's the one winning. Now, did you know that Russell Brand has actually been banned from YouTube? That's right, YouTube has decided that he will no longer be able to make money whatsoever on the platform. This news comes after several women made allegations of SA against him and more and more stories about him just keep coming out. His YouTube account, which has around 6.6 .6 million subscribers, has now been suspended following serious allegations against him. The company released a statement saying, this decision applies to all channels that may be owned or operated by Russell Brand. Other channels associated with his YouTube include Awakening with Russell, Football is Nice, and Stay Free with Russell Brand. The actor and comedian still has a presence on Rumble, which is 
is a video site popular with some conservatives where his channel has about 1.4 million followers. These allegations were made by four women in a Channel 4 television documentary, The Times and Sunday Times newspapers. The accusers who have not been named include one person who said she was SA'd by him during a relationship that she had with him when they were very young. Another woman said that he took advantage of her back in 2012. The four allegations date from between 2006 and 2013. Leather's Metropolitan Police said that since those claims were made public, it has received a report of separate claims dating back from 2003. For his part, Russell has denied everything and he issued a video message on social media to call out what he calls very serious criminal allegations. He did this just hours before they were published on Saturday. Quote, these allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time, when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. He went on to say that during that time of promiscuity, the relationships he had were always consensual. But despite his proclamation of innocence, he's already starting to see some very serious consequences for his alleged actions. His management agency, Tavistockwood, terminated all professional ties to him. They released a statement saying Russell Brown categorically and vehemently denied the allegation made in 2020. But we now believe we were horribly misled by him. Paramount Plus has removed one of his stand-up comedy specials and the BBC said it removed some content featuring him from its streaming platform iPlayer and BBC Sounds. This was after they assessed that it now falls below public expectations. Russell was also set to do a string of live gigs but promoters have now postponed the remaining dates because of all the controversy. Now that all of this is happening, people are looking at old clips and interviews about him that look like warning signs of his problematic behaviour. Shortly after the release of Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Kristen Bell told interviewers that she had to intimidate her co-star Russell Brand to make sure he understood that she was not interested in having a sexual relationship with him. During an interview with the Scottish Daily Record, she said that she was aware of his womanizing and made it clear to him that she was not going to tolerate his advances. She said she initially found him attractive, but lost attraction when she read up on how he treated women. Quote, I had no idea who he was until I googled him and saw what a little stinker he is with the ladies. He kept reminding us every 10 minutes of how famous he is in Britain by going, it's so weird not to be recognized here. She went on to say he didn't fancy me at all and in fact he went out of his way to tell me how grotesque I was and I certainly didn't fancy him because he's so high maintenance. He took longer in makeup than I did. While Christian also praised him as an actor and said that she loved working with him, you can see why some of her comments are now being looked at as early red flags that we should have noticed. Known for his unbridled and risky stand-up routines, Russell Brand was a major UK star in the early 2000s. He hosted shows on radio and television, wrote memoirs charting his battles with substances and alcohol, appeared in several Hollywood movies, and of course, he was married to Katy Perry from 2010 to 2012. There were also a few other signs over the years that he might have been aggressive, like when he first crossed paths with Katy Perry. So back in 2009, he took to the stage at the MTV Video Music Awards and Katy flung a bottle at him that he caught. After the show, he was furious, but when she approached him, he claimed that she was fiery and caught his attention. Katy went on to describe the interaction and what Russell attempted to do to her that very same night. She admitted that he attempted to force himself on her, but she was successfully able to steer clear. Russell was apparently furious, but he listened to what she said and then walked away. Four months later and they were engaged. Now, Katie might not have understood what was happening at the time, but considering the horror stories now coming out about Russell, she might have just saved herself from becoming another one of his alleged victims. Moving on, it's very good news for BTS fans. The seven members of the massively popular K-pop group have all renewed their exclusive contracts with their agency Big Hit Music. The company released a statement saying, the board of directors has completed their decision on renewing the exclusive contract of all seven members of Big Hit's music artist BTS. After making their debut in June of 2013, all seven of the BTS members renewed with Big Hit Music in October of 2018, more than a year before their original contracts were set to expire in 2020. This is a second contract renewal from all the members, marking their continuation as a band following their military enlistment duties by around 2025. Following the news, RM posted a photo of his contract as well as a message to the army on Instagram. He wrote, we can't wait to see what they do after they're all back together. One by one, each of the seven members of the group is enlisting in the South Korean army for mandatory service. They will all wrap up their military duty by 2025 and then reunite as a band to make some more music. Recently, Suga started his enlistment process and he will be the third member of BTS to start his service after Jin and J-Hope. In South Korea, 
Now, all able-bodied men aged 18 to 28 are required to serve in the military for about two years. All BTS members had been allowed to put off starting their military service until they turned 30. The military enlistment of the BTS boys has been an issue of debate for a long time in South Korea. However, the group members have always maintained the idea that they will accept the call of duty when the nation calls them. Till 2013, the South Korean military actually had an entertainment soldier system where soldiers were assigned duties related to producing radio and TV material promoting the ideals of the military. But that system had to be closed because of all the complaints about unfairness. So it seems like BTS is just going to be doing regular military service just like every other citizen. So what do you guys think about this story? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.